Right, hi everybody. Um, let me just get this up because um, I've got a new thing. I hope you can hear me. So, um, if my banner people can say they can hear me because I've got a new microphone in. Just trying to get the video up because my iPad's died. <coughs> so organised today. Not. I was distracted by slipping through all my journals. Can you hear me? <laughs> Can you hear me, guys? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I reckon you can hear me. Yes? No? No? Yes? If someone could tell me, then I'd be very happy. <laughs> oh, right, cool. Is it clear? I've got a new microphone, OK? So, is it clear? but the sound is rubbish. Oh, cool. That's nice. It's nice to know. Why is it rubbish? How rubbish is it? Is it because I'm not close enough to the microphone? It's buzzing. Oh, great. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to um, put my old... The only... I keep buying the, the, the third microphone I bought. I don't know why it's buzzing. That's annoying. <laughs> if I sit really quietly like this, is that better? All right, there. No. I'm not buying them from Pan now, and this one was an expensive one. I can sit, I'm going to send it back. I tested it, um, maybe it's just doing it on live that you get the feedback. I'm just going to have to put my earphones in and use the microphone on here. So this is the only one that works. <laughs> I've got a new stand for my phone as well. I've got a new phone going to light for me. Probably going to put a there. Right, there we go. Now I've got to find a clip for it because, um, yeah. Oh, God. Welcome to my new setup, guys. <laughs> Works really well. That's just really annoying. Now I haven't got a clip of my microphone. God damn it. You can hear me better now, can't you? Yeah. Oh, it's ridiculous. It's supposed to be like one of the best microphones. Uh, I checked all the reviews and everything and how good it is. La di da di da. Great. <laughs> um, um, maybe I can just use it when I'm recording. Right, okay, I've got a clip. <laughs> this is a good start, isn't it? Right. My iPad's not working. Everything's all over the place. <laughs> Welcome to Mitzi World. <laughs> but and then you've probably got this light, new light thing I've got. It's probably going to cast shadows and glares everywhere. But it looks okay at the minute. <laughs> right, let me say hello to people. <laughs> All right, hi Stephen, hi Afia, hi Chris, hi Lisa, hi Helen, hi Patricia. <laughs> hi another Pat oh Priscilla, hi Priscilla. Sorry, I'm, my iPad is not working, so I'm, I'm my um, computer's right over there. So <laughs> I got the wrong glasses on. Hi, Felicia. Did I say hi, Felicia? Hi, Linda. Hi, Joe. <laughs> hi, Lisa. I've said hi, Lisa, about 1,000 times, I think. <laughs> hi, Anna Marie. Hi, Linda. <laughs> hi, Sherry. Hi Lisa. <laughs> you say hi Lisa. Hi Lisa. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Right, let's clear up this. Um, I've just like got stuff out. I thought I'd do another. People seem to like my art journal flips. I've got a bit more time this morning. I ain't going anywhere. So, um, oh, no, I don't think anybody's supposed to be <coughs> coming round. And um, my chimney's sorted out. 
My cough will probably get better, so I won't be inhaling smoke anymore. <laughs> oh, hi, Kerry. Did I miss Kerry out? <laughs> Hello, everyone. I need to clip my glasses. I, I quite like my stand, but I'm not sure if I like this light because it's making this glare. But um, if I turn it off, what do you think? I'll probably like doesn't really make a difference. It's not the glare from that light. That's good. Must be just a glare from the general general lighting thing. All this stuff you have to have to, um, and it doesn't work. <laughs> Hi, gems. Right. Let's just start. Yeah, art journals. I've got. I've, I've pulled out some more. <laughs> As you can see. I think I finished off last time with this one. I, oh gosh, everything's um, with this one, which had flowers in it, and then and then the um, we call it came. Um, I don't think I can zoom out or anything. <laughs> uh, the the chimney guy came in here and I had to run off. These are mainly been made into um, patterns, I think. Yeah, they have. <laughs> so, um, but th this isn't an art journal, is it? Because there's no writing in it. But you don't. Ha I don't think you have to journal with writing. You can journal with colours. <laughs> Does that make sense? And how you're feeling, and just get things, something out. It can be scribbles or whatever. So yeah, that's sort of something. That's something. Um, God knows what's in here. Oh, these are just these are just birds that I was drawing. I think it was when I was doing that fifty. I was making like colouring book pages. They can they can go away. Wait, wait. wait. Oh, I'll save those for later because people have seen these ones over here, which are my um, watercolour ones. I'll leave those to last. <laughs> right. I think that. Oh, gee. Cut my fingers off. Is this in the right place? Let me just adjust my camera. I've got this new camera holder thing, and um, <laughs> it's in a big like box thing, and it has a microphone on it that so doesn't work. There, <laughs> and a light on it. <laughs> it might be all right. One with all the cats. I think I got an art journal with all the cats in it. Oh my god. <laughs> People sell what by the page? Paint these. <laughs> these. They're just scribbles. <laughs> oh, the colouring pages. Yeah, I, don't, I was going to start, but oh, it's, that, it's one of those things that I start and I never finish. Who else is a starter and never finish? I think all my sketchbooks, I've, I haven't, like, there's a few that are, or my art journals or whatever, that are finished right to the end. Most of them are not, like, this has got a Mitzi sticker on it. This is a, what I'd call a proper journal diary, bullet journal thing. And um, I, I, I still keep one now. This is quite old. Um, it's where you... Like, this is, this is in a bit of an elaborate one. Oh, what is this? It's got my name all over it. That's just a bit. This is a, um, a bit of an elaborate one that I do. I don't normally do them so elaborate, but it's just like a bullet journal thing. And it's got colours and I'm just sorting out my life. Obviously, I didn't sort my life out for very long because I didn't finish it. <laughs> so that's that one. Get back because I don't want you to read it. No, unfinished stuff doesn't. Well, it does bother me sometimes. So I'm thinking, oh, it's not finished. But then I don't know. Oh, thank you, Stephen. <laughs> right, this is a, another thing sort of that I started. This, these are those I showed you yesterday, didn't they? One. Well, I do those. I'm like in the wrong place and everything, aren't I? 
Put that out the way. You don't see anything. I've got a mound. <laughs> it's going to get lower. <laughs> You're going to start off close up. See, things you tell yourself. <laughs> Listen there. And these are just, do. I, think, I don't know if you call this an art journal, it's more of a sketchbook, but it's got words in here. <laughs> oh, avalanche. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's it. <laughs> it's like things to tell yourself, um, good words. I suppose that's an art journal, isn't it? You write things in there to um, positive affirmations and things like that. And then it just got into doodles and llamas or whatever they are. <laughs> and then um, practicing writing. There's lots of books where I practice writing. And then I've got things like this. The birds and things and butterflies and more flowers. These are like all done with um, marker pens, I think. So that's all, that's all I needed for this was some marker pens, really. I quite like this. I was practicing my writing. <laughs> this is, uh, has been turned into a pattern, I think. A few of these probably have. Well. Yeah, this is a pattern as well. So these are all the separate elements, and I would have scanned it in and things like that. And that's a pattern. <gasps> okay, looking back from these, I think, oh yeah, that, oh, this is a pattern for sure. It's on some bed range somewhere. <laughs> you remember, if I remember rightly. And then I've got a snapdragon. And then some Mitzi stuff from Pratsin's and Snapdragons and Zinnias. I like Zinnias. Lots of flowers. Uh, hi, Chris and Helen. <laughs> I'm just going by the. Sorry, I can't see my um, iPad. So I'm, I'm not sort of with the chat at the moment. I just keep stopping and looking. You're watching backgrounds, so that's cool. <laughs> uh, and then there's all the cakes and things and stuff I was doing and stuff. Leave what's heavy behind, yeah. Yeah, these are art journals. And then there's more stuff. It gets to the end, doesn't it? And then it's not finished. <laughs> I got bored. Bored of that one. Start the next one. <laughs> this one's going to make you laugh. This is the 100 day project. Or oh, is it? Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, I started off really well. Look at my squirrel. 100 day project. I said, yeah, right, I'm going to draw for 100 days. I probably did draw for 100 days, but I didn't keep it as in making a record of it. <laughs> so I don't know if I did it or not. <laughs> I normally draw every day anyway, so I was going to like draw in this book for 100 days. Look, you can see how far I got. This is day one, obviously. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for coughing. Hi, Jill. <laughs> well, and then I've written the whole thing of what I'm going to do in 100 days. It was going to change my mindset and everything. I was going to be positive and this and do that and all this stuff I could do. <laughs> And then I did this. These are collages. More collages, bowls. And then there's some flowers. This is a pattern. And then I did that. And then I did that. And then I did this. <laughs> so my 100-day project turned into me collaging in here. Oh, there's some birds. And then I did that. It's a rocket, by the way. And then that... <laughs> started off well with the best intentions <laughs> sums up my life really I start off with the best intentions and then um, this one is um, just drawing faces weird faces I think they're sort of just sort of copied out of fashion magazines or something I mean this is, must be a Chanel thing they're weird faces <laughs> a happy birthday, Susan. 
My, it's my birthday next week. And that's that. That one didn't last very long either. But I've got some good faces in there for looking at and going, ha <laughs> <coughs> I'm not going to sing. <laughs> oh, look, is this an empty Oh, no, it's not an empty one. Um, this is... Um, these are just black and white drawings for things. <laughs> I'll just flip through quickly for this. It's nothing interesting. It's not interesting. I'm, I'm saving the more interesting stuff for in a minute. <laughs> so we get, we're getting rid of the bored stuff. <laughs> These are quite pretty. I should change those into a um, pattern, really. I think this was a, was a pattern, Easter pattern. These are things, I draw all these and then I scan them in and do them, don't look at my nails, and I do them on, um, what do you call it? What's that drawing program? Illustrator. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's not finished. This is one that I just pick up and I've got half butterflies. And Oh, this is a pattern. And um, yeah, that's the that's that that's that wobble. <laughs> Nothing else in there. I like these ones. These are like moleskine gen journals, and they have um, a pocket at the back for secrets. That one hasn't got anything in it. <laughs> Cyril saying hello. Right, this one is probably sort of started. You've probably seen this quite a lot. This is like a Mitzi people one, but there's. There's more faces in here. <laughs> <coughs> uh, yeah, I think it's just cartridge paper, mixed media paper. This paper's smoother, but I've stuck stuff in it over the top, so there's lots of different... These are just faces. These are fat faces. More faces. And I think that's about all the faces I get. <laughs> Look him. Yeah, see, it's, it's all ready to, I have these on my shelf and I can pick them out every now and then and just add to them. Why naked? Oh, I don't like drawing clothes. Who wants to draw clothes? <laughs> it's like hair. I don't always draw hair either. All the best people, are, all the best artists are um, that uh, Capricorns, Lisa. It's weird. <laughs> I'm going too fast. I've got a lot to get through. <laughs> and if I don't like my stuff, then it's going to stay. <laughs> um, oh, this is a um, another one of my... I don't want you to read stuff, that's why I'm going fast. <laughs> um, yeah, this is another one where I, I read, I write and draw and write and draw, and then I, it turned into something else. A book for something else. Oh no, there's still stuff here. This, this is quite nice. Don't do it over there. Oh, some more faces and things. Cyril's going crazy. Colours. I, I got a new um, watercolour palette, I think. And I was just practising. And then that's, look, the blankness. <laughs> I like naked people. <laughs> this is another thing. Another one. I think um, this is where I started writing. There's all lots of writing under there. You probably can't see it. Cyril's. I've moved my guinea pigs inside, and then I've. Um, he keeps annoying them. Cyril, shush. I don't know what he's barking at. Your picture's really blurry. It might be your internet connection. Because it's fine with me. <coughs> if you've got a weird internet connection, because this is live, um, it should be fine. It's really clear with me. So. Yeah, well, it's blank pages. <laughs> and then this is one that is just, it's like started, really. There'd be stuff put all over this, but I'd forgotten about it. Oh, and then there's some weird people. Again, these guys have got clothes on. Uh, Cyril! And that, that's that. That's that one. 
<laughs> right, let's get some really old ones out. Really old ones. Everything's in progress. Mm -hmm. Everything's always changing, isn't it? This is my philosophy for this morning. Nothing ever stops. <laughs> Um, this, oh look, Michelle, 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 Michelle. This is um, a sketchbook. I'd, I'd call this one a sketchbook because this is sort of inspired by trips to museums. I think this was done from the, uh, I don't know, somewhere. <laughs> kind of like museums that I visited and things like the Brighton, in Brighton and around places and was in Sandra Rhodes inspiration and things. And then funny little stick man and his bum. I like that bum. And some more. So I'll flick through this. Quickly. Some dragonflies. <laughs> Don't think Kate can hear you, Stephen. <laughs> and then, yeah, drawings. It says this was a six panel screen by somebody. I can't be bothered to read it sideways. <laughs> And there's, there's wax crayons are good. So that's like inspired from Vanessa Bell or something. And this was also inspired from the... I don't know what's wrong with my brain lately. <laughs> Vanessa Bell and all that artist, Duncan Grant. This is all ex it's, uh, inspired by them, like the 19, the art, what do you call it? You know. Um. That's quite a nice picture. I did like a waxy and then I painted over it. It's nice. It's got silver on it. <laughs> and then there's some little wooden naive things and then some Indian sort of art and elephants and animals and some Chinesey stuff, Japanesey stuff. And so, like a beaded bag and this is a detail off an evening coat. A hat <laughs> from Nigeria and things like that. This is like African art. And then I'll show you what, sort of what I did from this. And this is like more, more like um, Miro stuff. And I inspired just shapes inspired from other artists and things. It's a bit phallic. <laughs> and then playing with textures and things. and then cutting out stuff I don't know what that is just a thing I think I don't even know if this book's finished and then I've just got shapes and these shapes have turned into another sketchbook for I'll show you next <laughs> they sort of emerged from this from like the um, I like all these shapes these were taken off of um, some African art And things quite a lot of artism and look the first inspiration for Mitzi dog <laughs> was inspired I knew there was a point to this sketchbook I was showing you I was just waiting to be reminded this is like the first inspiration of Mitzi dog which I took from it was in a museum in Brighton and there was some African art and this was embroidered on something like really naively done and um so that that was the inspiration for my dogs that i draw <coughs> copyright theft no that's not copyright theft because that was an embroidery and i was inspired from it and my art doesn't look like where i was from and because it's so old they don't have copyrights anyway <laughs> In the <laughs> I wish my new microphone worked. I was like really happy that I wasn't didn't have to be joined up to my thing. Give me more freedom of movement, and I could run about my studio and get abandonment, and let, and then I never finished. So obviously that sparked something, and then I was off, and so did these things, <laughs> and then I was painting. <coughs> 
Right, so that, from those, from those um, inspirational drawings, I did um, a whole, this big whole sketchbook was, and this is when I was at uni, we had a brief or something to do something about spiritual things and, uh, and, uh, and then I started looking at um, <coughs> pagan art sort of thing. Whatever I mean by pagan art, I was looking at like um, art, like cave painting, mark making, things like that, and really naive uh, African art I like a lot. And um, also dream paintings from New Zealand, Australia, Aboriginal dream paintings and things like that. Yeah, Keith Herring sort of does similar stuff. Like those, um, I think that's where he must have been inspired from as well. Hello, Lucia. <laughs> is, is everyone still in 2020? I'm not sure if you've moved over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It must be, it must be um, New Year's Eve somewhere, um, nearly a few hours away. <laughs> right, this is like my back to nature pagan book. It's my hand. <laughs> Got some stones in there. This might be a long, I'll go slower through this one because there's lots in it. I don't know if you can see these. These are like um, cave drawings, I think. I did, and this is like uh, where my sort of mixy art <coughs> evolved from this book. So this book's quite important to me. Uh, so these are like drawings for like from Africa and things. See, even these aren't finished. Yes, they are. These little books in books, and then I've stuck stuff over it. it smells good, this. It did have like a dead um, seagull head in it, but I took it out because it stunk. <laughs> and then I've got draw uh, like a mermaidy drawing under there, and then it's got stitching. Um, I like putting stitching on things. I haven't done it for a long time. And then that's a, like a scrapey painting. And there's all stitching along here as well. Move that over there a bit, so you can get the whole book in. <laughs> and then I've stuck a feather and a leaf skeleton, and, and then this has this is just like patterns from textiles, I think. Yeah, embroidered pattern from African textiles and things that I was inspired. And this is from Ghana. That's from Nigeria. So all these like shapes and things, more stitching and stuff, and then some like African. I've got some masks upstairs. Um, for those who didn't don't know, my ex-husband's um, Nigerian. I've been over there a few times, and I, I was looking at all the textiles and that over there, and it was really nice. Lucia, oh, what time is it here? It is um, eight o'clock in the morning on New Year's Eve. There we go. <laughs> then I, this has got like lots of earthy tone colours in it, and stitching and things and earthy tones. And this was from, I did write things in it. Well, I got this, these patterns here uh, from, I think this was like quilted, like appliqued sort of pattern these all these little shapes were like appliqued onto this cloth it was so nice oh it's designed from palm cloths they were called or something so I've got stitching along there as well so that was inspired from that and then it's just shapes and things and little bit of shapes yeah Europe I'm, I'm in um, England And then there's some more African shapes and mark making and things and a frog. <laughs> and 
this, I don't know if you can see from the glare, this is like a little, this looks like a dog, sort of laying down flat. And then I've got some stitching here. Yeah, the connection's all right here. I can, everything's really clear because I'm watching myself, watching myself, watching myself. This is the one of his. <laughs> Never end. And then I was inspired by American Indian stuff as well, sort of, sort of crossed over, and then their beading and their text, textiles and things like that, and their drawings that they did. They used to paint on um, caves as well. And you get all these designs and things I've got off of blankets, it says here as well. Blanket or coat from a child, sort of blanket. It's just a really simple shape you can't see. <laughs> just simple, like mark making and colours. You'll find like colours, but they were colours that, that inspired me. And then I like this. <laughs> this is from... This is Nigerian again. It's good that I wrote stuff on there. I don't, just don't always write stuff. These are um, markings off uh, from Africa. Then no, that is not a Nazi symbol. <laughs> it was from an African thing, but that symbol, the Nazis took it over, didn't they? So you got all that, which is nice. It looks cool. And this is some more. This is from Ghana. And then there are, there's some more little books that are stuck in here. These are bleach drawings. So I've been using bleach for a long time. This is just normal ink, like drawing ink. And then you can draw into it and it bleaches it away. So these are bleach drawings. Anybody's interested. <laughs> just mark making and things. You get some really nice techniques. It smells smells bleachy and all those people that ask me um oh doesn't bleach affect your paper this book is 28 years old so no it doesn't <laughs> so bleach has been in there here for so long and the colours are still vibrant and everything. I did keep them sort of in a dark cupboard, but they've been out lots and looked through lots. And I get inspired from, from this book a lot. Uh, some more like uh, things from Ghana and I've even stuck photocopies and things on. This is from a detail from a wood panel. Who'd have thought? Just spots. <laughs> you just get them. Um, inspired by it and there's some more stitching in that in here some more stitching and then i was sort of started moving on to more earthy things these are like all these this is the like i co copied that because there's hand prints like in this cave these are like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years old but i really loved yeah, i don't know if you can see it's a bit glary you see In this cave somewhere, where is it? Saying? Mythical features, there's a six metre long rainbow. It's an Aboriginal painting. Then I sort of started getting inspired by the Aboriginal painting. See, it's sort of like got a bit that stuck out that page, so it's got a bit. Uh, <laughs> got inspired by their uh, Aboriginal dream paintings and things. And these are these are all were all done on the computer. Then I stuck them in like all the dots and things. But it made quite a cool, cool thing. And this is painted. Oh, I like that noise. <laughs> so they had like snakes and dots and dots and more dots. It's better than lines and lines and lines. <laughs> and this one. And I love this guy. I've sort of used that shape in quite a few of my paintings. It's a 
it's a spirit painting from an Aboriginal dream time or something. So they were probably off their head on something. <laughs> Was that which would I be interested? Oh, yeah, it would, yeah. That would be really cool to draw those. Take the photos. <laughs> Thanks, Patricia. Uh, yeah, and then there's um, some more here and some more Aboriginal spotty paintings. And then, and then there was words. <laughs> this has got words in it. <laughs> Patricia's asked me, do I like what I see when you see yourself? No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm learning to love myself. I like myself much more now than I did when I was younger. When I was younger, everything, I was always told I wasn't good enough and stuff, but it's getting better. Um, and then <laughs> there's things that inspired the... Uh, the people, like the words that kept coming up, there was like sun, moon, sky, wind, earth, falling stars, rocks, thunder, like people inspired by the earth and natural elements and like it all fell into like this pagan thing that I was doing. So this is, like, oh, can you see the bear? There's a bear design. And then there's some more colours and things together. And it's, it's just like subtle shapes and things. And then I quite like the subtle shapes they had. And this is really nice. And I love the brown and turquoise colour together. <laughs> oh, thank you, Helen. Yeah, I, I, I'm beginning to like myself a lot more. Sometimes I look in the mirror and go, yeah, damn, you're... You're so beautiful. You're a wonderful person. <laughs> I am. <laughs> it's hard to do that, isn't it? And this is like a dream painting thing. There's like a shape. And this is bleached again. And there's some more bleachy paintings and things. And like I was doing the moon. There's like a weird bird drawing under there. And the moon shapes. And I'm not sure what this is. This is just colours, I think. Probably, and I was looking more into the earth and looking at like shapes that, that um, like moss and algae made here and like bark of trees and things and trying to experiment like nature and stuff. And then the moon and the sun. And some more moony, moony stuff. Ooh, and a page that's come out. <laughs> and then, as you see, I got to the end of the book. And uh, I haven't finished it, but I stuck colours in. <laughs> and, like, textures that I liked. Oh, and there's some, like, really simple just mark making on that one. It's nice to look back, back at these. I haven't looked through this for a while, actually. And there's some more stitching on here. And a bit of a stick. I don't know what that, that might have been a feather. And then there was, I did like wax stuff. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is and then there's feathers stuck on there. And lots of stitching. I like this textury stuff. It's like stitching and then ink over the top of it. And then that's a, a thing. I can't be bothered to read that. It's like being inspired by nature. It's like the moon. <laughs> Oh, hello, Margaret. I didn't say hello to you. Sorry if people have come in and I haven't said hello to you because I haven't got my iPad in front of me, so I can't see straight away the chat. I'm probably a bit lost in the chat as well. But if you want me to see something, uh, like a specific question or something, can you do it in capitals? Because then I'll, I'll see it better because my computer's way over there. <laughs> and I'm attached. I was hoping I wasn't going to be attached. So I had my new microphone and everything. Do you want to see more? 
I was going to sort of end on this one because it was cool. How long have I been? Oh, I've still been up here. I've got more. <laughs> oh, Lucy is asking a really nice question. Mitzi, darling, my creativity is blocked. What do you do when that happens to you? Oh, I've, I've had that really badly. I've just sort of got back into painting again. Um, I couldn't do my Mitzi painting for ages because it was just too emotional for me and everything because I paint like from my emotions and things and I couldn't cope so I was, I was doing watercolours a lot so I don't know I find myself just doing anything it's just a point of just go and scribble go and go and just get anything what's in front of you and don't care what you're creating don't put in your mind that it has to be perfect it doesn't have to be perfect you're just getting your creativity out and then it sparks something like I'm inspired by looking back through my old journals and things and I think cool this is really good and oh I could turn that into something else and, and then it makes me want to paint I mean I haven't finished I started <laughs> tidying up my studio a couple of days ago and I still haven't finished because I keep getting inspired by stuff I'm like oh look I've just found this and I want to draw, draw and <coughs> it, it could just be a simple act of just doing a few lines somewhere and as long as you start getting the creativity out of yourself I think that sort of passes the block that you're feeling inside and you you can start moving on from there and you can say to yourself yeah I did that yeah it's a crap drawing but who cares you know I'm getting my creativity out I, I'll, I'll move on <coughs> sometimes I can use prompts um I love um, looking at word at song. No, not words. It's not where it is words because I'm reading it. Uh, I like looking at song titles. Song titles and listening to songs. Uh, one one album that gets my creativity going all the time is um, Madonna Ray of Light album. I stick that on and I'm just like there in my painting zone, sort of there and I can just switch off when I'm angry and sad um yeah I can I can still sometimes I can't paint at all but it's hard to just get something out I paint when I'm angry and I paint when I'm sad that's when I do my best work <laughs> Oh, thank you, Margaret. You should have a go. Start journaling. This is a Mexican book, but lots of pages have been torn out because I've used them for other things. <laughs> and I made this out of paper mache, like a 3D church thing. And I think my daughter's got it still, like Mexican art. <laughs> this, I'll just flip through this one really quick because there's not much in here. Really, it's mainly colours because I've torn <coughs> all the good pages out. And again, they, they have that, like the Mayan art and things. Oh, thank you, Patricia. And there's like paper cuts and things. And then, then I just stuck in stuff. And then I think in here is a weird mermaid somewhere, if it's still in here if I remember rightly. And then there's like dogs and cats and weird animals that inspired me. Yeah, there's a weird mermaid. And there was another weird mermaid here. I think that was her head. <coughs> and then I just stuck in some Mayan stuff and then, um, I don't know what these are, just bits that I've pulled out. <laughs> stuck in and see, another book. Not finished. <laughs> oh, and this book. <laughs> um, those of you who watched the other day, it wasn't yesterday, was it? I didn't. Oh, I can't reach. I'm attached. So if I'm pulling stuff, I'm attached to my thing. Those of you who saw this book um, from Derek Jarman's Garden with all the stitching and colours and that. Then, this is 
went with it. This hasn't got stitching in it, and it's more just black and white. So if you're still here, <laughs> people, yeah, there's still people watching. <laughs> I haven't lost you yet. I could be here for another hour. <laughs> I've still got a big pile. Look at all these. these. <laughs> and, um, yeah, these are mono... What do you call them? Monographs. Monographs? I can't... Calligraphs. Where I've got some seaweed and put it through a press, like printing press, and you ink it. And, yeah, there we go. And then... Oh, I should show you my art that I did from this. I've got some really simple prints, like colographs, monotypes, like proper printmaking stuff. <laughs> I did from these of just stones and things. I'll, I'll try and dig them out. So I found them the other day, but I can't go and get them because I'm attached. Yeah, Dave, Derek Jarman's quite inspirational. I like his luck. <laughs> what makes me start a new book? I get bored. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> but this one, look, goes all the way. <laughs> Maybe because it, it's just really simple. Right, this was inspired by Derek Jarman's garden as well. And I actually produced and screen printed some fabric. I don't know where my fabric is from this. This was part of my degree I did. This, that's Derek Jarman's house in Dungeness in Kent. See, I can remember it all today. <laughs> so that's my sketch of that and some bits of his garden. <coughs> <coughs> and some more of his garden. Some more of his garden, like just simple sketches. That's the nuclear power station in the background. Where did I go to uni? Um, Brighton. And then I moved on to this, which were like prints. I sort of drew on one side and printed, and I came up with all these. <laughs> I hope these don't bore you, but um, I just like the, the mark, the mark making. It's all quite repetitive and comforting. And I don't know, there's something about it that's just therapeutically, I just, the shapes and the, the symmet symmetry, symmetry, that's the right word, isn't it, of it? Because it's like printed over or something. Yes, I did enjoy my degree. It was fun. I did um, textile design. Yeah. <laughs> but it was mainly, it was mainly, um, I, was, I, went, I wanted to do fine art, but they said I wasn't good enough. <laughs> so I went, <laughs> went and did um, textile design, which was just painting anyway, so I was fine. And so it didn't bother me. <laughs> And then, yeah, so this is just like constant, repetitive, symmetrical. It's a bit too tidy for me, really. It's like you're very unlike me. <laughs> oh, I, d I went later. I didn't, 97 was me. <laughs> That. And these more circles and lines and lines. These are the tops of um, these rods he had in his garden. I just point my finger. Yeah. <laughs> that. And more and lines. I like lines and lines and lines and lines. <laughs> oh, don't start Mark with me. I was told I wouldn't get any qualifications because I was just like really quiet, never said anything. 
sat there. I was told I wouldn't pass any O-levels and I couldn't go on to do my O-levels and there was no way I'd go to university or anything. I got A's and B's and I got three A-levels, so... <laughs> you know. But who cares, eh? There's just so much pressure put on people to pass their exams and it's just a little, little bit of their life. It's a little bit of their life when you're so young to have all that pressure put on you. Oh, this stuck. That one's stuck together. <laughs> it's a stressful time. <laughs> Are you bored of this one yet? <laughs> this is not so printy. This is this has gone into pencil and then something changed. I've obviously got bored of doing my um, stuff. Oh, hang on a minute. So much for my new thing. Hi guys, I hope I'm back. <laughs> the Wi-Fi went for some reason for a minute. Anyway, there we go. <laughs> Yes, I'm back. My Wi-Fi sort of stopped for some reason. I didn't realise till my pages weren't turning. <laughs> yeah, teachers do. I remember getting really cross with one teacher who told my son that he was drawing noses wrong. I'm like, let him draw noses how he wants to. Is there a right way to draw a nose? Apparently there is, according to her. <laughs> and her nose was crap. But I'll let her draw her nose how she likes. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> right, well, I'm nearly at the end of this one. Is it boring yet? <laughs> Scribbles. <laughs> <laughs> Just a break her nose. <laughs> My theory is for drawing, draw how you like and if you want to draw something exact, like a photograph, just go and take a photograph, you know. <laughs> That's the end of that one. <laughs> so that was quite, yeah, that one's that one. That one's that one. <laughs> That's that. Do you want to see some more? I don't know what it was. I think it was printing ink, um, Irene, that I used in there. In a tube, it was quite thick. I think it was like screen printing ink. Something like that. <laughs> I can do more. <laughs> can you show your drawing and painting when I'm feeling? I've news. What was that? Can I show us my drawing and painting when you're feeling? was angry and sad. Oh, I haven't got that sketchbook. Oh, yes, it is. Here you go. This one I'm, like, currently doing. <laughs> I'll show you a very angry picture. A very emotional picture. Where is it? This whole book started. Yeah. <laughs> where's, where's the worst one? The, the one, this, there you go. Look, 
that's getting stuff out. There we go. Let's say about that one. Let's move on to pretty things. <laughs> Do you want to see something really sad? <laughs> I look at this and I cringe, but it's quite nice. Some of it's cool. Here we go. <laughs> this is an art journal, journal, like proper art journal. That's me, that's when I had red hair and I had a dream about wearing a spotty dress and I thought this is me and there's stuff all about it. So this is old. And this has got like, oh, I was talking about Susie Blue the other day when I was drawing all those little faces and this has got lots of these in it. And I cringe when I look at them <laughs> I'm ill. <laughs> but it's got some good things in it. and getting stuff out and I've got I will not listen to your put downs I will be happy to be me this is my heaven this is like all about me all these things and drawings and words and all right Stephen see you later <laughs> I'll be here forever <laughs> Eyes that disapprove and like are stuck in like collage things and then that's supposed to be me again and I've pulled out pictures because there was a really nice one of beach huts and I sold it someone wanted it <laughs> and then there's a sad picture and then that's upside down but there you go it's a face <laughs> these are really old this is when I had my cats uh, there you go. It says, my cat has cancer. She had cancer, poor old Mandy, and an overactive thyroid. And it says, pills make her feel better. She has two white ones and two pink ones a day. She can't hear anything either. <laughs> Bless her. So I did a, a little sketch of her, her bum. <laughs> All right, bye, Jill. Yeah, this is a really long one today. I've been here an hour, haven't I? unlike me and then there's these weird people life can be magical if you just let it as I got like and I've got these like weird looking fairy things they can look be <laughs> this is awful oh yeah like cringe it's like a I don't know <laughs> Yeah, I've done self-portraits before. And it's like pictures, the happy thing, thing I want looking at. And then my cats again, and my garden. And that's me, obviously. This is really like whimsical. And then, um, I quite like this one. This is about um, how February the 8th was a lucky day and I made a wish and wrote things and put it in my book. It's all like, there's a magical, lovely journal where you write down your wishes and things and it's got sparkles and it's really twee and whimsical and <laughs> look and there's another one of these weird things <laughs> don't forget to be happy and I wrote stuff all here I enjoyed doing this but then when I look back at it now I go <laughs> it's old and then there's there's me again obviously <laughs> Can't you tell? I says I want to start painting flowers and do my garden, my pretty garden. That's not me. I've never had black hair. And things I want to do about being happy. Take what life deals with you. And then there were some more crap drawings. And that says I'm a wolf and I don't wear sheep clothing I'm just me there we go and um, now I don't want a cup of tea I think I think I was really upset one day and uh, <laughs> um, somebody came and asked me if I wanted a cup of tea because that would make me feel better and I was like no a cup of fucking tea is not gonna make me feel better <laughs> as you do <laughs> understand sometimes I just don't understand people yes <laughs>
And then, yeah, I don't know. Oh, look, this is pretty. This is dreams. This is the, like a list of my dreams to be a successful artist, to be happy with me, to love myself, to be content, to make everything, every, to make everyone else happy. No, I don't, I don't believe in that anymore. You shouldn't have to make people happy. To do wonderful camping holiday fun. Yes, I did that. And this is me dreaming, flashing through the dreams. <laughs> With sparkles, and she's got a bad leg, obviously, and a crooked neck. <laughs> she liked my whimsical. She doesn't fit in there, so one way she's going to get her head chopped off or something. And um, I think that's about it for that. See, bored, bored of, bored of that. <laughs> Ta -da. I, I'm going to finish off with my watercolour journal. Oh, this is the last one I've got here on this pile. This is one I wanted, I've forgotten her name. I remembered it earlier now, I've forgotten her name. She does, t is it Tessa, Teresa, something, something or other, where she does um, ones like this. And also, what's her name? <laughs> Diane Raverly does ones like this, where they stick collage with like faces and draw over the top. And this was another one, like this, where you stick things in and write and things like this. I like that bird thing. And drawing, drawing, drawings and drawings. I had like lots of mushroom things. And, and, that, and that was a book I did for the sketchbook project. I got some books in the sketchbook project and things like that where you just stick and obviously I got bored of that because that's all I did of that. <laughs> I love Diane, she's bought lots of my paintings, she, I think she's got a Mitzi collection. <laughs> Right, let's finish off on what everyone's seen, <laughs> which I don't know whether you'd call these journals. And then, then I was gonna, sort of going to move on and show you how to start a new one for this coming year, but I don't think I'm going to have time unless I just sit here forever this morning. Oh, no, actually I have to go and get dressed because I'm going to get some wood delivered, actually. Yeah, I'll just go through this and maybe tomorrow I'll do because it's a new year tomorrow, or maybe I'll start like that. Right, let's have a look at watercolours for a bit. I won't keep you too long. No, you don't have to like her, Mark. <laughs> You're allowed to like whoever you like, <laughs> as long as you like me. <laughs> There we go. Let's just flip through these. So I don't know if you call these art art journals or because I'm still like painting. Like my feelings come out onto the pages when I'm painting, and these are. Um, yeah, these are landscapes, aren't they? <laughs> hmm. You try. I think when you paint, you have to get a bit of yourself out onto the paper and your, the way you're feeling in that. I think it shows whatever you're painting. Hi, Tiffany. <laughs> Lighthouses. Nails <laughs> and this is spring, obviously. <laughs> and then some flowers. These these are probably most of them have been. If you see little things like this, they've been made into patterns, like textiles on material. <laughs> Some autumn inspiration and then a bit of folky stuff and some, some roses, 
some more autumn-y painting. And then, did I get bored? Yes, one got bored with that book. And there's a copy of someone's painting. And yeah, I did that. And then that, and that's that. And then there's another one of those in there. <laughs> Should do another one. I've got a couple more here. Then I'll stop because um, it's late. <laughs> another watercolour one. This is from January 2017 to June 2017. It's like three years old. Four years old, nearly. Yeah, June. Fungi. <laughs> what was the title? What was the little one in the back? What? What? Oh, that was just one of those um, <laughs> collage things. I've thrown it over there now, so I can't reach it. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. Trees. That is a little dog crept in to my flowers. Oh, and there's some chickens here. Like, stay away from chickens, they're dangerous. And I end up painting chickens all the time. <laughs> oh, thank you, Margaret. <laughs> yeah, it's over there. I'm attached to my microphone, Joe. Sorry, I can't reach it without unplugging. <laughs> That's why I got my new microphone, so I can like run around and stuff. It obviously doesn't work. <laughs> There we go. Some more. There's some flowers. Love. <laughs> Jellyfish, octopus. You've probably seen me painting some of these. I think I did quite a lot. No, the art is the other book that I did live. I've just got one more book to do. If it's like bored you with my paintings. <laughs> I'm flipping quite through. I like this one. There's something I like about that. <laughs> there. Oh, -da. I'm bored of doing this now. You must be like bored to death. <laughs> um, cacti. <laughs> More flowers. Yeah, and that's the end of that one. With stuff was stuck in it, more, more cacti and things. Do I like to keep them together? Okay, last book. This is the one that I finished this year and I started off lockdown. This is the one, this is the book I started doing first in lockdown and doing my live paintings with. Um, so I've been doing them since March, 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 yeah. So, and I filled this book up, I did it every morning, <laughs> most mornings. So these are my lockdown, lockdown flowers <laughs> after what happened and everything. So yeah, so this is my trying to be calm, peaceful, think lovely flowers. We don't want any negative thoughts here. It was just. just like meanness well it's not mean meaningless is it really because um if they've got dots they've been there's videos of me painting so if you see a dot in the corner there's a youtube video of me painting this so if you want to go and look and it's live so yeah sunny lockdown days yeah there's lovely beautiful sunny lockdown days where i was just sitting on a morning painting beautiful flowers, trying not to think about life. <laughs> That's when I tend to um, paint watercolours and flowers is when, when I can't cope with life. <laughs> so just go and paint something pretty. <laughs> yeah, so the dot means there's a live one up of me painting this thing and scroll through my millions of videos 
that are around. Ah, oh, thank you, Tiffany. I, don't, I listen back and I think, oh my God, my laugh's awful. People seem to like it. <laughs> I, try, I keep trying to stop. Oh, thank you, Joe. That's really good. I like your watercolours, Joe. It's cool. And then this. There's lots. I filled up the whole book. This is one that I actually finished. <laughs> this is birds in half because it didn't fit on the paper, and then I just photoshopped it on, and it's a. Um, it's now a uh, pattern, along with this. It was it's um, peacocks and lily pattern. And this was a partridge in a pear tree pattern. <laughs> so this wasn't all done, just it was, it's my work as well, because it gets turned into textile designs and sold. Ah, oh, thank you, Kerry. You have a good one too. <laughs> some fish. And then some more flowers. And now look, joy for Christmas. I didn't paint this at Christmas though. <laughs> Peek up from my garden, Cyril would eat it, I tell you. <laughs> They'd chase it and pull thing around all the time. <laughs> They'd be peacock and Cyril scraps forever. <laughs> this isn't watercolour paper, by the way, this is just cartridge paper. This sketchbook. I sold some, didn't I? I sold you guys some sketchbooks that has got the same paper in. We just just flip through lots and lots of stuff. It makes me want to get my watercolours out again. I've got like a separate station for my watercolours now. It's all fabulous. <laughs> and I'm really annoyed that my um, microphone doesn't work that I bought. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it works when I don't do live broadcasts and it just works for videoing which would be good if it doesn't I'm going to throw it out the window this I've sold that pattern yeah that's really nice <laughs> happy to new year to you Mark well ah oh, thank you Anna Marie <laughs> flowers daffodils some more daffodil things <laughs> And then there's some more. And some cacti. <laughs> Always have to do some cacti. And there's the one. I think all of these, look, they've all got little dots in the corners. The majority of them. So these are all live paintings that I did. It's weird looking back on them. So I remember painting some of them and I don't remember painting some others. And to think I've got a video of me of chatting and painting. What did we talk about back then? <laughs> oh, these were weird. <laughs> Some weird irises. Sometimes I look at them thinking, this is weird, but I like this. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the spring. And we're coming to the end. And that was the end painting. Ah, oh, thank you, Patricia. <laughs> you just sat and drank what I need a coffee now. <laughs> yeah, we talked about going to France. <laughs> but that's me. And this, I, I put this out. Because I had like a method in my, I had a plan today, which is unlike me. And this is my starting a new sketchbook. But it's very small. I don't know if I, I want a bigger one actually. So I might. So I'm going to start an art journal. <laughs> for January. Whether it will carry on for the rest of the year. But you always start the year off with good intentions, don't you? But I've got this, which is quite interesting. Before I go. 
This is a, a journal I've made myself with bits of paper and I've stuck them all on this binding stuff I've got. So I'm not sure, I might do my journal in this because it's quite interesting, isn't it? Of how I've just kept scrap bits of paper then just stuck them all together. And it's already got like drawing on it and words and things. And I was going to make some more of these and sell them to you guys as well. But I haven't got around to that yet. See, it's got things on it. So maybe I'll use this one. This is, looks more interesting. <laughs> Scrapbook journaling. There's all different names for it, isn't it? I just like calling it, I don't know, art journal, whatever. You write, draw, put things, whatever you like in it. It doesn't even have to be drawn. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll do it in this one because this is this looks boring. What what am I more drawn to to start working in this one? Not not this. This needs to be mitzified a bit. I need to get my spray paint on it and scribble and that before I can start writing stuff. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to let you go now because I've been here far too long. This is the longest one ever. <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow and I might start this, maybe. But I've got those canvases I want to do as well. So maybe I'll just do them as pre-recorded. I don't know. Do you like pre-recorded or live stuff? I need to get some more pre-recorded stuff up because um, doing this live stuff is really easy because I don't have to edit anything. I'm so lazy. <laughs> anyway, thank you, everybody. My phone's probably running out of battery now and everything's going to die. So thanks for joining me. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Have a good new year. See you next year. That's what I should say. Yeah, bye.